Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Gabriella. Today I'm finally back to using my Derwin Excel Intense Blocks, which were hands down my favorite art supplies in 2023, along with the Hanemula Mold Made Rough Paper that I'm using right now. It's a very textured, 100% cotton watercolor paper that is my number one choice for the Inktense Blocks. If you find the rough surface a bit too much, I recommend the cold press version of the same paper, which is slightly smoother. I'm starting out by making the color palette first. It's a very limited set in terms of color selection, so it requires a bit of creativity, which is sometimes challenging, but it's very handy to practice mixing your own colors. So far, I've been able to achieve all the hues that I needed in my art. I love using ink tan sweat on wet. It's quite different to watercolors. Obviously the particles are much heavier and overall it's a more opaque medium, but it allows you to do things which are otherwise not possible with regular watercolors. This set doesn't have any browns or yellow ochre and I'm going for a rather muted winter palette. The base for all of these brownish mixes are tangerine, poppy red, mustard, paints gray and ink black. Unfortunately, the pink masking tape had completely detached from the paper, so I had to replace it with my regular tape. This paper is easily damaged by masking tapes in general, and the pink tape had a very weak glue, which is why I went for it, but now I know that it doesn't work. In the meantime, I'm working on the background using a purplish mix of fuchsia, paints grey and ink black, and for the evergreens, I'm mostly using leaf green. Oh! 
After I'm done with the painting for the most part, I'm switching to Inktense pencils and the regular Inktense blocks to add details and some extra texture. Lately I've been really interested in experimenting with the blocks in various ways. Normally I just paint with them, but there's so much more that they can do. And finally, the finished piece. The paper is a bit warped because of changing the masking tape in the process, but that's okay. I will put it under a heavy book for a couple of days and hopefully that will fix it. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Take care and see you next time. Bye!